Chef mm -hmm. Jeff Trombetta from the University of New Haven in Connecticut. And today I am going to show you how to make grilled tilapia. So let's get started on this very simple preparation. Let's get started with uh, seasoning or marinating, if you will, the fish and ready for grilling. You can see I have a, a flat griddle, grill, also called a grill, and I have essentially a charbroiler grill. Grilling is where the heat comes from the bottom. That's all it really means. I am not going to do the fish, something delicate and white that will fall apart and it's not being held together with its own skin. I will not do it on the grates. It'll be a mess. You're asking for trouble. I am going to do it on the flat griddle. So I'm going to begin to season this fish kind of Tuscany style. Little pepper. This is how the Tuscans would season a steak, okay? But they eat a lot of fish over there. I'm using whole herbs. That's sage, by the way. And this is oregano. Some of it's gonna get embedded right into the fish fillet. Some of it will fall off, that's okay. This is gonna be rustic. This is on the grill. Lemon juice, ample lemon juice. So this is a seasoning or a marinade. And ample virgin olive oil. Give that a moment, you know, to uh, embed. I would actually let this sit 15, 20 minutes. So that's going to be full flavored. Now let's also make sure our griddle's hot. We want it as hot as possible. That's going to be five, six hundred degrees. degrees. Okay, you can hear it sizzle. That's a wet towel. And you don't want to cook on wetness, but because it's so hot, it dries up right away. Now we have the residual oil that's um, on the pan, I mean on the fish, uh, that'll get onto the griddle and prevent sticking. Once you get this on there, do not move it. I'm gonna brush it. It's like basting, just like you would barbecue sauce or anything on the grill. I think it's an important component of cooking. So brush, brush this uh, marinade or Tuscan seasoning over the back. So I'm gonna brown it up pretty good from that side. And then I'm going to uh, turn it over and that's it. A nice, long, sharp spatula. That's why they call this a pastry knife. Okay? And we're gonna have somewhere to put it. Make sure the whole thing is loose before you pick it up. The beauty of not cooking that top side or the skin side, notice how I put the bone side down first, because that's the side I wanna brown, that's the side I'm going to present, and that's the nicest looking side. But I did not flip it onto the skin side, and it was still raw, so when I picked it up, a delicate fish that starts to flake, if it was completely cooked through, it might fall apart on me. But I did my job, I grilled it, and now I'm gonna just let it finish in a slow oven. I might re-drizzle it, keep it moist, just a little bit, it's got enough salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and just another lemon, okay? Just to kind of freshen it up, give it some moisture while it holds in the oven. I don't want my fish to dry out. So this is important. So I'm gonna go right into my 250 degree oven. So let's make a little edible garnish for our grilled tilapia. That's olive oil. And these are blanched snow peas. So this is gonna go very quickly. I wanna hear a sizzle. So I know I'm heating these up. These are just some sweet julienne of orange, red, and yellow peppers. This is just gonna brighten, freshen it up. It'll be also a wonderful flavor. Always season whatever you're cooking kosher salt, white pepper. Seasoning brings out the natural flavor of what you have, not adds flavor. So I don't want to make it salty or peppery. That's adding flavor, I'm just seasoning. You should taste uh, a piece of uh, something to make sure it's seasoned correctly. That's actually wonderful. Those peppers are sweet. They're starting to give off the aroma. They're still kind of um, raw. So we're gonna put our garnish, our edible garnish, our sauteed vegetables right in the middle. And we're gonna put our uh, fish to either side, make a little room there. Take our two nicest looking fish, or our two most uniform looking fish. It's done perfectly. It's not falling apart, but I could tell it will flake apart if I try to. Kind of tighten things up here a little bit. I'm not happy, I'm gonna make a little V. I think that'll be better. V will be better. We're gonna take our pan juices and uh, sprinkle it over the top, evenly distribute them. I think what we're going to do is take one of these Meyer lemons, cut it nice, 
and then nice meaty center section right there. Put that right on the base where the fish are joining and you can even do another one to overlap. This is the front of the plate. That would be the behind the plate facing the customer. Let me turn this. Okay, always make sure your plate is proper. So let's take a taste of our grilled fresh tilapia, Tuscan style. So we have it basting in its uh, virgin olive oil and lemon juice, and we have a wonderful snow pea garnish, which I'm gonna taste also. Let me stab this if I can. I'm wrestling with it, there we go. It has that grilled flavor from that browning or kind of charring right on that 600 degree flat top fresh grilled tilapia. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from the University of New Haven in Connecticut.